Hello friends, welcome to our channel. In today's video, we will learn about crop tool in Photoshop. We use crop tool to crop an image. Crop tool can be seen in the toolbar and then and can also be activated by pressing C on the keyboard. As soon as you select the crop tool, a border is being displayed around the image. In the options bar here, you can see different presets. You can choose any one which is suitable for you. Let us select width into height into resolution from the options bar. Click and drag the handles to reshape the crop border in any size you need. The area inside the border is what you will keep while the faded area outside the border will be cropped away. You can even click and drag the border to reposition the image. By default, Photoshop lets you resize the crop border freely without caring about the aspect ratio. To keep the original aspect ratio of your, of your image, press and hold shift key on your keyboard as you drag any of the corner handles. This locks the ratio in place. To resize the border from its center, press and hold alt or option on your keyboard and drag a handle. To reset the border without cancelling the crop completely, click the reset button. If you need to crop a specific aspect ratio, you can set the aspect ratio as well. Let's keep the ratio value to 11 into 14. To swap the width and height values, you can click on the swap icon over here. If you don't want to crop the image, simply press the cancel button in the options bar and if you are satisfied with the crop, press enter or return or the tick icon shown over here. Now let us look at another feature of the crop tool which is crop overlay. Here we can see a grid of 3x3. Three three. This grid is known as rule of thirds. With this you can create interesting composition by placing your subject at or near one of the spots where the grid lines intersect. There are other overlays as well which you can choose from. You can change these overlays by pressing O on the keyboard. Hit enter or return to commit the changes. Another option in the crop tool is straighten. It is only available when the crop tool is active. To use it, select the crop tool. Hit the options bar, select straighten. Look for the area which you want to straighten. Click on one end and drag your pointer to the other end. A line has been created between the two points. It uses this path to determine the angle that the image needs to be rotated. Release your mouse button and Photoshop rotates the image to straighten it. Let us look at the other two options over here. Select the crop tool and drag one of its corner to crop the image. Here the delete crop pixels is checked. Hit enter or return. Now, if we want to get back to the original image, we can't as it is deleted completely. On the other hand, if we will uncheck this box over here and crop our image, we can see that the crop pixels are still visible as Photoshop hides it, making it non-destructive. In this way, we can crop our image without any worries and we can get them back anytime. Another one in the options bar is content aware tool. Let us see how to use it. First of all, select the crop tool. Then make sure that the content aware tool is checked. Keeping it active, hold and drag an area which you want to extend. When you are done, hit the enter or click on the tick icon over here. You can see that it has automatically filled that area with the content aware. However, if you will uncheck it and then extend the area, in case your layer is locked, it will be filled with the background color and if the layer is unlocked, the empty layer will be displayed. That's all about the crop tool in Photoshop. If you like this video, please share your views for the same and don't forget to share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.